Mr. Teacher. How do you get feedback during remote learning? Well, in today's video, I'm going to break it down. All right, so as I'm getting set up, first thing I do, I'm gonna get the background, gotta get the, the ambiance, so I'm gonna be teaching, so you wanna put something typically on. It's not gonna be overly distracting, just, you know, some background noise. Um, so lately I've been watching a lot of video game tournaments, so I'll just throw up some CRL. Um, oh, here we go, get the finals. So this can be on in the background. Um, just get some gaming. Then, make sure the background, everything's good here. In case I have any meetings. So this is what people see behind me. A lot of kids comment on Baby Yoda or Groku there. Got, got the school teacher books. Um, and then what I do is I load up my school computer. And then I get my personal one going, and I simultaneously load up Google Chrome on both. Standard stuff. Now, if you only have one computer, not a problem. You can use a quality iPad for your streaming. Um, a microphone definitely helps with an iPad. And, you know, I load up my email and stuff, but this is about interacting with kids, so. Google.com on both, and get Google Slides going. Do -do -do. So now I can kind of see work that kids have done, and that's on both. And then the next tab I need to open is the most important one, and that is Classroom. So you can see all my courses. Over here is the same. So, let's say I want to give kids feedback. So, we're gonna start with Humanities. First thing I do is I join the meeting with both devices before any kids get there because they can't get in. So go to join. Then I immediately mute on both. So there's no echo. And then I have the chat ready. So now what happens is kids will start joining, say hi, I'll have something posted on the screen. But say we're getting to the point now where they're ready to work. This is how I give feedback in real time. So, this screen, I'm gonna have presenting. And now kids can see as I'm typing in the chat, and if I have a grid layout, they can actually see each other, all the little boxes, so whoever has their camera on. And then on this screen, I can go into the classwork and if I click on any assignment I can then see what they're doing so over here everything's titled by date a kid might type um, hey I need help on slide 4 of a activity 08 December so then I always start with their name then a little dash, and then I respond. Now, if I have a question, I always at kids. Just like they're used to on Discord, social media, things like that. And then I type the question. This is how I give feedback in real time. And the grid layout of Google Classroom is amazing. Going back and switching, say I wanna help a kid with a different assignment. I can just see all of their work and you just click on it, it loads right up, I go to that slide and I can get feedback on it. 
So here's a really simple setup on giving feedback in real time.